was when you say the stress the of the states what can you touch on that a little bit for me well it's just a stressful place because yeah. you're you're basically stressed out all the time most of the time we worked two jobs for years right and uh just to make ends meet it wasn't easy and uh, it's not an easy transition then you got to deal with the violence and all the other baggage of the country also yeah and uh we just got to the point where we just said the heck with yeah it. you were done we were done yeah and that was it we had raised our children mm -hmm. and we had paid our dues mm -hmm. for as dealing with stressful situations yeah. and violence and gun violence and all that stuff mm -hmm. and you just have to find a time in your life where you gotta have some peace yeah and, yeah uh, Ghana has that have peace, peace. Mm -hmm. yeah yes. that's wonderful hello Royal Kingdom Estate family we are so excited to be back with another episode of the Motherland series. My name is Ajoadi. I'm going to be your host for today. And I can assure you that this episode is definitely going to be very, very interesting because I've had the opportunity to have some chat behind the camera with the couple that we'll be speaking to. And I am so inspired by them. Even the little conversation that we had, I've learned so much. So I'm fully ready to unpack their lives, how they met Royal Kingdom Estate, their general overview of the development and real estate sector in Ghana, and all of their expectations for the long term. So please, together, let's all warmly welcome Charles and Jamie, but together as Mr. and Mrs. Ivy. All right, so we usually love to start by getting into the background of our guests. So please tell me a little bit about where you're from and how it was like growing in uh, those places that you were born into. Let's start with Jamie, because they say ladies first. Uh, okay. they do. <laughs> well, um, I'm a nurse and I just recently retired. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in the States. You in Washington DC. Okay. Um, done a lot of traveling, um, come from a military family. Wow. And I myself am mixed military. Mm -hmm. Um, Air Force. Wonderful. Um, okay. But that's my I've been a nurse for many, many years. I'm okay. to be here. Just recently retired. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And then let's hear from Charles Sissel. Okay, I'm originally from the state of Mississippi. Okay. Southern state, mm -hmm. region of uh, America. Mm -hmm. uh, my profession was a respiratory care practitioner. I did okay. that for 36 years. Mm -hmm. And I retrained and uh, became a hyperbaric technologist for right. eight years mm -hmm. prior to retiring. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, were li we were living in Florida prior to moving to Ghana. Yeah, mm, that's amazing. It's interesting how you were both in the um, health industry. Mm -hmm. Was it something that you were specifically um, looking out for? Maybe you wanted a partner from your, um, your job space. Was no, that we, taken into yeah. consideration? We, we met in a hospital. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the instances? Uh, taking care of a patient, a critically patient. ill patient. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and that's how you met. Yeah, that's how we met. Uh, and, and then one of his co-workers had introduced us later, mm -hmm. you know, because we I'd work with one of his co-workers yeah. too as well, but both of us in the same hospital. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's amazing. And how has life been together uh, since the time you met, since raising your family, and now mm -hmm. that you are just happily enjoying your retirement? Uh, it's been great. Uh, we've been married for 38 years. Wow. So we're stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> we raised four boys and nine grandkids. Wow. So uh, it's time for us to re re relax and enjoy mm -hmm. life for ourselves for okay. change. Right. For the young people that are watching, if you were to advise any of them, what would you say is the one thing that has kept you together all this time, Jamie? Patience. Patience. <laughs> okay. Patience and tolerance. You know, you mm. learn, you know, and accepting. Okay. I think accepting is probably the most, you know, yeah. because none of us are perfect. Yeah. You know, we all have our, our own, our, as we say, our own baggage to carry. And so okay. you just have to learn to accept yeah. each other. Right. And Charles? 
I would say a lot of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, uh -huh. that, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, and a lot of patience also. Yeah. And when you have children, you have to look out for their interests and, uh -huh. uh, you know, you have to raise, you can't raise them by yourself. You have right. to have a mother and a father mm -hmm. figure there so they yeah. can be raised properly. Exactly. So, Perfectly said. Thank yeah. you so much for that input. And moving on, how was it like serving in the military? For me, yes. Inter interesting. And, and to be honest with you, it's really and truly was a because I I was born when I was born mm -hmm. I was already in a military family because you're, yeah your family because my, my dad was re retired military wow his army and, okay um, so we did traveling and and my parents taught us mm -hmm. my mom and my dad taught us you know you you just adapt where you go yeah. and you accept people the way they are mm -hmm. you know you don't come with this um, mindset that people have got to meet your standards right you know. But it's, it's, it's an interesting life. It's an interesting life, obviously, because I went military after. <laughs> yeah, right. And then um, being in that front, you've moved from place to place to place. I think we were talking a little bit about it before we started the mm -hmm. interview. Yes. But how difficult or easy was that on your family, especially having to move from different, you know, regions or countries? Mm -hmm. Well, it was uh, it's kind of rough on the family. And, right. But they learn how to. You learn how to adapt to okay. it. Uh, it was very rewarding for me because it gave me a lot of discipline. Okay. And I needed it because I was young and right. undisciplined. <laughs> and uh, it worked out well for it. It straightened me. you. Yes. Yeah. It helped shape the person that That's you are correct. today. That's okay. correct. I see. Quite interesting. And you did say that out of all of the places can you mention some of them for me some of the places that you've um, been able to live at okay we well i was stationed in oklahoma mm -hmm. for two years okay and i went to hawaii mm -hmm. for the remaining six years that okay. i served in the military mm -hmm. and uh once i exited the military i uh, took a job in oklahoma city okay at a government VA medical center, and that's where I met my wife. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, wifey. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you did say that out of all of these places, um, Hawaii is your favorite. Mm -hmm. Why is that, Jamie? <laughs> oh, let me tell you. There are not enough words to explain it, but the people, mm -hmm. the atmosphere, Yes, you know, people always, and they always labeled Hawaii as being paradise. Right. You know, you always hear about it. And really and truly, it it is more it than is? those paradises. But now we've got Ghana. <laughs> yeah, another paradise. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me so excited. Um, are there any similarity, uh, similarities between Hawaii and Ghana since you were able to live there and you've been, this is your second time in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Did you say there are any similarities in there? Well, basically, uh, the climate. Okay. It's a, it's a, a warm climate there. Mm -hmm. uh, the people are welcoming in Hawaii and they're right. welcoming here. Yeah. Um, and overall, I hate cold weather. Mm -hmm. And I want to be in a place where it's going to be warm. Okay. And uh, generally, the people are very warm also. Mm -hmm. And it's a good, good, good place to be. I you know, see. We've, we've studied Ghana for two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I wanted to move here back in the 70s. Oh, is it? And, uh, wait, wait, why is that? Why is that? Uh, well, your first president mm -hmm. went to school at a historically black school in America. Right. So uh, it's a connection between Ghana uh, and, the, and the African American community. Yes. Uh, it's been back for a long time. I see. And I, I looked at Ghana back in those in that time period. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I, I was married to someone else at the time, had children, and right. I just couldn't pull them up and mm -hmm. bring them yeah. here. So I made it uh, almost uh, what is about seventy years. Yeah, from, down the line. Yeah, here you are. Line, yeah. <laughs> but I finally made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Yeah. Warmly welcome. Yeah. And um, Jamie, so you were you were here two years ago. No, this is your second time. This is our second trip. in Ghana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When was the first time? 
we were here in 2023. Right? 2023. Yeah, we okay. came for an anniversary. Your anniversary. Yeah, it was kind of like a bucket list anniversary, mm -hmm. and and we just I I needed some peace. Yeah, okay. Some peace. And so, but um, we we decided that we would just do something special on our anniversary because we were caregivers. Yeah. For um for quite some time and from COVID to the time my mother passed. Mm -hmm. so. And why did you choose Ghana? Was it because like you <laughs> wanted to move for <laughs> so <long>? research, buddy? <laughs> yeah. So he suggested Ghana. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I I looked at other countries and and on the continent. Right. And Ghana was uh, would be a pretty good landing for mm -hmm. us uh, because you know the language is basically Eng English. Yes. And uh, and the early ties between Ghana and the United States mm -hmm. and the civil rights movement uh, was there, mm -hmm. and I knew about it. Yeah. And uh, it was just an ideal place for me, and I studied it for two years. Yeah. Once we came here, and that pretty much sealed the deal. Okay. We knew we were coming back, and we knew we were going to have to plan mm -hmm. to come here, and uh, we accomplished our mission. I see. On the first time, did you have a great time? Was it nice? Did you enjoy your anniversary down here? Oh, let me tell you. When you know what they say, what happens in Ghana stays in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> we had a blast. Yeah. We, it was it so was good. It was, it was, it was so, and, and I mean, it's not like we're party people or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It was just like, you know, everybody has their, their form of happiness. Right. And it checked off everything. Wow. It checked off everything. When we came, it, it, it hit every emotion. We went to do, do some of the touristy things. We yes. went to Cape Coast. And, okay. And all in fact, we were actually, our as we were headed to Cape Coast, um, Kamala Harris's fleet was passing on the other oh, side because we were here when, exactly. she came, when she came then. But I'm going to tell you this, beautiful. Oh. I mean, it hit, you know, if you have any stages of happiness, mm -hmm. oh, it was well later 12. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was, it was that amazing. Good. It was that good. <laughs> I see. Wonderful. And um, today we're here. I'm sure people are wondering, okay, yeah, in the office of Royal Kingdom Estates, how did that happen? Like, um, but you are our clients that we cherish very, very, very Thank much. You. How did you find us first and foremost? Well, I did the research uh, and I was following Royal Kingdom when mm -hmm. they started the developing of the uh, the Avery area. Right. And uh, we just followed, you know, uh, Danny. Mm -hmm. uh, thought I was really impressed with him. And uh, to be a young man yeah. that's uh, focused mm -hmm. and he had a good good uh, marketing plan yeah. also. So we, we uh, followed him for two years and we looked at other people yeah. that had uh, done business with him mm -hmm. and they were happy and uh, we thought we would uh, give it a shot. Yeah, and, uh, and then here you are today. That's correct. <laughs> and we've, yeah. also, we've also touched bases with some of the people that actually bought land okay. from Royal Kingdom. Oh, and, who are those? Um, Lisa, and, Lisa, okay. Lisa and Landon Botley. Mm -hmm. And um, we've, talked, we've talked to them and okay. uh, let me tell you, thank God for YouTube, because we have, look, we have Royal Kingdom YouTube University. Yeah. Yeah. Almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> Almost every day. Always, watch, uh, always watching, always learning, taking everything that you can. Right. And, I, and we can tell, we've watched Desmond. Mm -hmm. And so we've watched y'all build from the ground up. Yeah. We've watched, we've just watched everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, even when I was working before I retired, mm -hmm. he would he would look at, at Royal Kingdom and, and look at all the videos. And yeah. then in the evening when I got off, I had to Look at all the videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just binge watch everything. I'm telling you, but I didn't mind. There's some of me when we went back and re-looked at them again. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, that, yeah. That's amazing, actually. And uh, we really appreciate that factor as well, because as a company, we try to be as transparent as possible. And I know that Engineer Desmond especially would really appreciate that. He puts so much effort and energy into like 
trying to showcase everything that we have to offer as a, uh, a company to like let our clients know that if they trust us this is what they are getting the best and nothing but the best so that's just like so amazing to sit here and listen to you say all of these things about the company oh let me tell you it's like everything that we've seen mm -hmm. everything that we've heard yeah has you know and and Charles also, he has, he didn't say anything, but he does have a little bit of construction. He has some construction background oh, wow. as well. So when he would look at the videos and yeah. he would listen to Desmond, mm -hmm. you know, explain things, he he knew that he knew what he was doing. Right. Yes. Yes. I think it was overall, he's got great staff mm -hmm. and uh, staff. they're friendly people yeah. and welcoming. Mm -hmm. And uh, th that's what you need to have for success yes in business exactly yes. we like to say that we're all just a big family yes. and everybody's just playing their part and together we're building you know success in the real estate space mm -hmm. before you settled on ibri did you uh check out any other places in ghana for settlement uh yes we looked at uh areas uh that area what was the name of that abalonia city yes okay uh, shy hills mm -hmm. East Lagoon Hills. Okay. So we looked at all those areas and East Lagoon. Also. Right. Yeah. 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 And Cantonments. Yeah. Okay. We looked at them all. Yeah. And uh, I think the Abri area was the most peaceful mm. area. Yeah. For us, and uh, we wanted to be in a place where uh, it's very peaceful, laid mm -hmm. back. Yeah. And uh, very welcoming uh, area. So. Okay. Right. And it's like I see the mountains every day. Well, you can see it's so I can see the mountains every day <laughs> and breathe fresh air. I love how you really appreciate nature. It's amazing. Yeah. So you got plots at Grace City. Yes. yes. Phase three. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you went for your site visit, how was it? The first time you saw Grace City, what was the feeling like? Oh, almost like the same as when we first touched down in Ghana. Right. It was yeah. just it's beautiful like, place. We knew this is where we were. Mm. Yeah. We knew that that was where we were. Mm -hmm. The landscape, the scenery, the views, the weather, especially. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, the weather. Yeah. And fresh air. Mm -hmm. Everything is just perfect. Mm -hmm. And you got two plots. Yeah. Congrats on that. Thank you. What do you intend to do with the plots that you've purchased from us? We're going to build a home. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do the other one, but. Uh, Hopefully our children will come. Mm -hmm. We have to leave something for our children. Right. Eventually they'll get the message. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I know them, they usually follow us eventually. <laughs> so uh, something that we're going to really have to think about what we're going to do with the other one. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but we're going to work out something. Mm -hmm. There will be a garden now. Yeah. There will be. There will be a garden. There will be a garden. Okay, I would love that. Yeah. I will give me a portion of the garden. I will plant flowers because I mm -hmm. love flowers. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I'm gonna start um, propagating some for you. So when you're ready, just let me know. Oh, I'll just bring you. it over. <laughs> thank you. It's gonna be Farmer Charles and Farmer Jamie, the assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I fully believe that you're going to have an amazing time. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend other people to trust us and then come to us with regard to, to, to the services that we've provided for you? Yeah, I talked to my best friend in Atlanta. I think we've been knowing each other from, for 50 years. Mm -hmm. And we sent him pictures of the land. And uh, he's coming in October. Wow. Sometime in October with his wife. Mm -hmm. and he told me that he was going to buy some land if it's still some available. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be more than happy to uh, have them. Of course. Yeah. And I am very excited that you have trusted us and you are mm -hmm. here today. Um, let's talk a little bit about your relocation process. Was it a smooth one? Were you happy? Like what influenced the decision to be like, okay, I want to fully settle in Ghana. And you mentioned your Ghana card, which I was yes, so I excited about. I got my Ghana card. <laughs> was it um, an easy acquisition process? Very easy. Yeah. Yes. Very yeah. easy. We had yeah. a we had our, our driver also that he was our driver when yeah. we initially came mm -hmm. last year. Yeah. So he guided us through the process. We kept in contact with him when we uh, went back to uh, Florida. Yeah. 
over the years and kept in contact with his family and okay. all that kind of stuff. So we, uh, he just helped us uh, maneuver the system. Yeah. And uh, we know how to move around now. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. You've got to have contacts and keep in touch with people that yes. uh, can help you. And then, you know, it helped having other other people that have out, had videos that, yeah. that kind of, you know, guided us as far as their transition from the United States to mm -hmm. here. And um, lots of note taking. Yeah. You yes. know, yeah. Checking off the butt, you know, exactly. everything mm -hmm. and making sure, but it, it it really wasn't hard. Yeah. 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 No. It was nothing hard. We're very accustomed to moving. Mm -hmm. So it really was an easy transition. Yeah. You know, as long as you plan things mm -hmm. out and be prepared to yeah. adjust when you have some challenges. Yeah. And that's very simple. Yeah, you mentioned you had to sell the home in Florida to aid this move. Was that a tough decision? No. No? No, I had I had decided two years ago, Ghana okay. was it. Okay. All I had to do was get convince her <laughs> and get her Mrs. on the same Ivy. page. Uh -huh. And uh, that was it. He didn't really have to convince me. It was just, and you know, with the economy and yeah. everything else, it's just the stressful part of, of selling a house. Right. That I think that as far as our transition, mm -hmm. that was probably the most stressful thing. Okay, getting a buyer. Yes. yes. Okay. And, you know, and getting prepared and being able to drop things, you know, when they mm -hmm. want to do a showing at yeah. the drop of a hat. And it was it was difficult for me because I'm still working. Right. Too, but, um, but after that, I mean, talking about weight lifted off your shoulders. Everything else is a breeze. Bring it. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to get get away from the stress of the, mm -hmm. uh, the states and come to a peaceful place. When you say the stress relax. of the states, what can you touch on that a little bit for me? Well, it's just a stressful place because mm -hmm. you're you're basically stressed out all the time. Most of the time, we work two jobs for years, right? And uh, just to make ends meet. It wasn't easy. And uh, it's not an easy transition. Then you got to deal with the violence and all the other baggage of the country also. Yeah. And uh, we just got to the point where we just said, the heck with yeah. it. And you were done. We were done. Yeah. And that was it. We had raised our children mm -hmm. and we had paid our dues mm -hmm. for as dealing with stressful situations yeah. and violence and gun violence and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you just have to find a time in your life where you got to have some peace. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Ghana has that peace, peace to offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's wonderful. I have learned so much listening to you, and your journey is truly inspiring as a couple just living their lives <laughs> in a completely different country, enjoying the peace, enjoying the weather, the sun, you know, building a home. It's just really lovely to watch and then listen to you as well. Um, you're going to have an amazing time at Grey City, for real. Mm -hmm. We just um, started a block factory and we're going to be building the perimeter fence wall, just like I was telling mm -hmm. you earlier. Uh -huh. Yes, by the end of the year, the security gate post, the fence wall will be up. And when you finally start, um building your project it's going to be so easy because you can actually now source materials from us apart from the block factory we're going to be having you know a hardware center where you can buy everything relating wow. to building materials mm -hmm. so we're trying to make everything easy for our clients right because yeah. imagine having to source your materials from outside bring it we had a lot of clients you know complaining about quality of the materials you know getting um transporting the materials and all of that so now you can just be at Gray City, get your materials at Gray City, and wow. build at Gray City. Can Royal Kingdom make it any easier? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my goodness, even just the land purchase, and we've already got people already, you know, we've already got some, we bought yeah. two days later, mm -hmm. we, we've got people already contacting us and letting us know ready, we're ready to do what you, what you need us to do. Yeah. I mean, can y'all do it any easier? Yeah. Wow, wonderful. Yeah, we just want to make it as seamless as possible. When we promise the best, we try to deliver on the best. Yes, that's Well, I'm going right. to tell you this. Yeah. Everything that we've experienced, everything that we've seen about Royal Kingdom, I mean, how, as they used to say, my grandma used to say, the proof is in the pudding. It is. Well, let me right tell you this. <laughs> this pudding is real sweet. <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> seasoned. It very is, lovely pudding. It is real sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It is very, every, everything that 
you percent protest to be mm -hmm. has been proven to us yes so we're glad on that note so any final words for our lovely audience before we call it a day uh, if you ever want to leave the country uh, come to Ghana mm -hmm. and do business with Royal Kingdom. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, it's all here. Yeah. Once, as they say, one stop shop. One stop shop. <laughs> the only <laughs> stop shop. <laughs> the only true one stop shop. Exactly. Her words. Wonderful. Well, okay. it's been so lovely having the opportunity to speak with you, mm -hmm. um, to hear your story. It's like I said, truly, truly amazing. And when your project is ready, definitely I'll be coming there. You will see me <laughs> so often. Oh, believe me. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Bring those flowers. <laughs> I will. Definitely. I will not forget. I will. And guys, just so you know, we still have plots that are selling on all of our developments. If you want to be at the view, if you want the view of the capital city and still be in the peace and serenity of um, everything that Ibri has to offer, the view is for you. We have Black Star Village. We still have plots that are selling there. And if you want to join the IVs at Gray City Phase 3, please just contact us on all of our channels. We're readily available to serve you. Get your plot, have a seamless land acquisition process, and let's all just be great together subscribe to the channel like the video share it and stay tuned you know we'll definitely be back with more content